Hi, this is Edward C Stand Hands, and today on the Slant of Limbs, we're going to show you the proper way to set up a C Stand, and then the proper way to take it down. I think I've got an itch. Let's get started and see what we can do. If you're going to grow in your business, you got to get some help. You got to get help from mentors and people who can help you grow. I can do that for you. Go to thesunlens.com, sign up for our business material. It'll help change your life. You can sit and think about business or you can do something about it. And it's time to do it. The C stand is probably the most important piece of equipment you'll have on set when it comes to stands and grip. You're going to put up your flags, you're going to put up your lights, you're going to use the C stands all the time. This is a great stand by Norms. I've used Norm stands since the very beginning of my career. I've got stands back here holding this seamless up that are 25 years old. These are fabulous stands. They make heavy duty stands. They work forever. This is my favorite. It's just our standard C-stand. It's two risers and a head on the top. These legs nest in each other and there's a little lock on each one. If you unlock the stand, then the stand is gonna naturally want to start to roll. As you roll it, each leg will drop into place, drop into place, and it's locked. And there it is. Now you just simply turn this knob and it's tight, ready to go down. Now it's a regular stand. All the principles we taught in our stand video apply here. When I set this down, I'm gonna choose my angle of view on the camera. I'm gonna set this with the large leg away from the angle of view and the two smaller legs split so that the angle of view passes right past them and these legs are not gonna get into my shot. Now I have the large leg on the back. I can simply put my sandbag on that large leg. Why do we choose the large leg? Well, because all the weight of the sandbag falls around the leg and all that weight is right there holding the stand down. If you put it on one of the short legs, most of the weight of that sandbag is laying on the ground and it's not holding the stand down. This is a two riser stand. The third knob on the very top, that just simply loosens and takes off the gobo head or this grip head. It reveals a baby pin if you want to put a lot of lighting equipment on that straight on the C stand, which we do a lot and is very useful that way. Now, when we loosen this stand, we can raise it up. Always start with the top riser. If we raise this thing up from the bottom all the way up to the top, then I can't reach the top one when it's time to raise that one. When you do this though, don't twist this knob 10 times. I hate that. Just a half a turn is all you need. Otherwise you get it up there, it's heavy, and you're trying to twist this, twist this, twist it. Just a half a turn, tight, half turn, tight, half turn, tight. Very, very simple to do. So what makes this stand so absolutely valuable? It's the extension arm. It's the ability to take this, get it out onto the set, and be able to get a flag out there, get a light out there on a set to cut some light to work on set. That's what makes this so valuable. Now there's an important way to set this up. If you put your weight on the right side, so you're tightening to the right, tight to the right, righty tighty, lefty loosey, then you put weight on this and it just, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna get tighter and tighter. But if you put your weight on the other side and you tighten it now, I'm going tightening to the left and if I put weight on this, it will just make it loose. I can't tighten this strong enough to make it stay in place. So righty tighty, lefty loosely. Always tighten towards the weight that's out on the arm. That's the rule. If some Neanderthal grip gets a hold of this and really wrenches it tight and your weight's out there and you're going, I can't get this unloose, then just simply stand here and put your weight on this end back here and that's going lefty loosey. And it loosens your stand up, makes it so you can undo this. Drop it right into place, very easy. Another feature about this stand you really need to understand is called the Rocky Mountain Leg. When you loosen this knob right here, this leg slides up. What does that do for you? Well, if you're on set and you've got to slide this stand in somewhere where there's no room to work, you just simply raise that leg up, lock it down, put your sandbag on it, and you're ready to go. That Rocky Mountain leg will work on hillsides. If you've got to step something up on a curb. I mean, there's so many ways you'll use that. If you need to get it into set, you can't quite get it in there tight enough, Put an apple box, get it up, the leg up, and you can slide your stand in a little tighter. Another important thing to understand about C stands is a principle called nesting. You know, the legs are different levels, and there's a reason for that. The reason is it allows them to sit on the same footprint. It's just not a convenient way to store them on set, but it's a great way to work when you're on set. If I've got my flag here, I need to set another flag in next to it, I simply grab a stand. This stand's gonna slide right in there. I can, my arm comes out. These two stands are almost taking up the same footprint. It makes them very tight on set and easy to work. It's a principle called nesting. It's also a great way to store them when you put them on the studio floor. Let's talk about the proper way to put our C-stand away now. Most people do it like this. This is not it. 
It's actually a very simple process. You simply take that large leg, turn it away from you, loosen, pull, turn, pull, turn, and tighten, and it's ready to go on the truck. So let's take a look at some of the other C-stands that Norms makes. There's some great ones out there. This is a 20-inch C-stand. It's called a Gary Coleman. It's what it's called. <laughs> and it's a short C-stand. That even sounds funnier, doesn't it? It's a 20-inch C-stand for when you want to get things down low, get a flag in low. It's just a fabulous C-stand. So this is what's called a breakdown C-stand. It has a turtle base. When I loosen this up here, the stand comes out. So this is the turtle base, breakdown C-stand. It's just easy to pack it, ship it. The advantage of this is just ease of storage. The disadvantage of this, you don't get a Rocky Mountain leg. But it's great for storage and for packing them. So this is a super C-stand. It's basically a heavy-duty C-stand. It's got heavier pipes, so heavier risers. It's made for lights like Kino Flows, heavier lights. So it's basically a beefy C-stand. It's called a super C-stand. If you're interested in any of these stands, go to normstudios.equipment. You can find every one of these stands there. I have a lot of these. I love this stand. We use it all the time. I have the short 20-inch stand. We use that on set all the time. I think I even have one turtle stand. I don't have one of these. I need one of these. So anyway, there's a look at C-stands, how to set them up and how to use them. So keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. Some lucky winner is going to win a lens from the Slanted Lens. Not that lens but an 85 or 90 millimeter lens from Tamron. So go to thesleadlens.com and sign up for the giveaway. It's all of the month of May. Get over there and sign up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Slanted Lens. We're hanging out here. We're waiting for you to subscribe. Quick, subscribe. I can't do this all day. You've got to subscribe. Quick.